All right. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, I am today with Dr. Ben Lee. Ben, thank you for having us. We are at uh, Sydney Personality Group in Chatsworth. Thank you for having me, Kevin. Uh, ben is going to talk to us about the new Noble BioCare Pucet Pro Kit and he's going to show us how to assemble it, how to use it, so you can have a video of reference if you need to deal with the restoration of crown yeah. and to repair anything. Um, ben, please, show us how this will work, please. Okay. All right, well, let's take a look at the Noble BioCare uh, Pure Set prosthetic kit. Uh, first of all, I'll just give you a quick overview and then we go into in depth of each of the different components. Uh, as you can see here, one of the most important part is the torque wrench, which comes in two different pieces. And I'll sh show you how to uh, put that together in just a moment. You'll also have a manual adapter and torque wrench adapter. So let's take a look at the torque wrench, which is one of the most common questions I, I get asked. What's the, uh, the correct way of assembling uh, these things together? So as you can see, there's two pieces, the actual torque wrench and also the spring bar. So with the spring bar, all you do is insert it from the back. While pushing it in with a little bit of pressure, you want to tighten things down uh, in a clockwise manner. Now at this stage, Notice how the Noble Biocare logo is facing us. That's quite important. And once you tighten it all the way down, it is important to make sure that tightens all the way down because if it's not, your torque wrench driver uh, adapter is not going to click properly in place. So once it's tightened down, uh, the second thing you want to make sure is the arrow. Now you can, guys can see that there's a little arrow. Uh, it can be pointing up or away from you or it can be pointing towards you and so how to change that is by holding onto it pulling out and now you turn and let go but you want the arrow to be pointing down or towards you when you want to tighten things and you want to let the arrow go away from you when you're loosening things okay so that's the torque wrench the, the adapters notice that there are two of them the manual adapter the torque wrench adapter. They do look different. The torque wrench adapter have these little grooves in it which clicks inside, but the manual driver cannot. So I want to uh, engage the, the torque wrench. So let's say for example, I am using choosing the OmniGrip uh, driver um, to connect the two together, push in, and as you are applying some, some pressure into the adapter, you just want to rotate and you will feel a click and that's when it engages. Make sure that it engages well. Then to connect your torque wrench adapter into the torque wrench, once again, you want to make sure the Noble Biocare logo is facing you and you put this over the adapter until you hear a click. To test it, you can hold on to the driver and if you want to tighten things, once again, you want the arrow to be towards you, so you want to feel the pressure. And as you pull away, it disengages. You can hear the click. Again, you want to tighten things and disengages. Ben, thank you very much for showing us the different parts uh, and how to as assemble the cross kit. Now what we're going to do, we're going to look at every single driver and Ben's going to tell us which driver does what. So we're going to start with the with the, the one we call the, the Unigrip. You yeah. know it's a Unigrip because it got a uh, golden tip, is that correct? Uh, yes, but the Omnigrip uh, driver also is a golden grip. Um, this is more like a, you can think of a star or a small, it's got six points in it. It's not a hexagon, uh, well that's why it's called a Unigrip, it's got a unique shape. Um, but yeah, it's got six points to it. Um, when do you use a Unigrip? Well, it's when you use torque type screws, uh, okay. which is the most common abutment screw uh, in the Nova Biocare range. Uh, this uh, screw has been out for a long, long time. It's got a special coating which uh, reduces the, the risk of the screw from becoming loose. So it's typically black coating on the, on the outside um, and, uh, and you have to engage this directly in the long axis of the screw. 
So the unique group is your everyday tool, basically. Pretty much, yeah. Cover screw, healing abutment, everything. Uh, cover screw for conical connection, but not cover screw for your your Bronemark, your X hex implants. Which okay. those you need a special cover screw driver, which is a small hex. Okay, oh, that's good. So the next one is uh, what we call the Omni Grip driver, yeah. which uh, looks like uh, a, a ball, and you can see there's a blue line at the bottom. That's how you know um, that is the Omni Grip driver. Yes. Tell us more. Like, when do you use this one? In which case scenario? Okay, well this particular driver, as, uh, as Kevin said, it, it looks like a hexagon and yet it's round at the same time, so it's a hexalobular shape. Uh, it is used for when you are using a specific uh, abutment screw, which is as part of the ASC abutment. Now, ASC stands for Angulated Screw Channel. It is when you want to use this uh, customized abutment with uh, changing the abutment screw uh, path of insertion by up to 25 degrees. So uh, say if, if an implant is not coming out of the ideal restorative uh, uh, angulation, you can now change that by up to 25 degrees to the ideal restorative angle. And the unique thing about the abutment screw head is that uh, it matches with this particular driver. So you engage the driver, not actually uh, dead on in the long axis of the abutment screw, but actually from an angle of up to 25 degrees. Uh, so that that helps you to correct your, um, your your final exit point of your abutment screw hole. So I think if you put in that, that's an ASC abutment. Yeah. So uh, if you insert it, we can see that we're coming to an. It's angle. coming from an angle, and so don't be um, concerned with using it on an angle because that's what it is uh, designed for. Now it's very important to know that you cannot use the Unigrip driver to engage these abutment screws. They will definitely not engage and, and end up uh, stripping the, the head of the screws. Uh, okay, thank you Ben for the explanation. There is another driver in there which is uh, the On1 driver. Uh, the On1 driver is really recognizable because there is a black ring on it and this one is the manual and we also have the machine one. Again, there is a black collar around the driver. Uh, ben, what is the on one driver for and when do you use it? Well, the, uh, it is for the on one abutment. Um, it's a special abutment uh, that you place on uh, top of your, uh, your bone level uh, implants and to bring up the restored uh, platform almost to a tissue level. And this is designed for um, sometimes your patients with uh, periodontal concerns and to reduce the risk of periodontitis. How much do you that on one abutment. 35, I believe. 35. Yeah, it is 35, I wasn't 100% sure. Yeah. So there's two um, uh, tools for that, a uh, uh, manual uh, tool and then a machine with a tool. So manual for initial insertion and machine to torque it to the right. Um, torque. torque. Uh, and the last part in the prosthetic kit is uh, our multi-unit driver. The multi-unit driver, you recognize it because it's plain. There is no mark on it uh, and it looks like an hexagon X in it. Um, so, I guess if I ask you what it's for, it's for multi-unit. Absolutely. So it, it looks very, very similar to the on one uh, driver. So that's why I think Kevin um, made the highlight that the, it's the on one uh, uh, driver that has the black ring, whereas the multi-unit um, driver does not have the black ring. I think we've covered everything. Um, again, thanks for, for having me today in, into the clinic and for covering the prosthetic kit with me and uh, everyone that is going to be listening to that video. I think that we will close the session for now yep. and I'm out of frame. We close the session for now. Uh, thank you again, Ben. Uh, corona check. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you, Kevin. And uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching that video. Uh, don't hesitate to put any comments if you want to look at more contents or if you want to if you want us to cover more topics. We will be always happy to cover more topics and talk about more Absolutely. Things. Yeah. Thank you.